have over 200 million views. And uh, we did that by serving the audience and figuring out what the audience wanted and, and also not lying to them, uh, which is what the regular media does, the old media does, all the time. Uh, not to offend our hosts here, but I'll confine my comments to uh, the American media, which I'm very familiar with. Um, so, now, let's talk about that, and then I'll come back to our story and I'll show you a fun, controversial video we did. Um, old media is in a lot of trouble, and now, some of the presentations here are not wrong, it's just a question of what's going to survive and what's not going to survive. Don't worry, I'll get to what's wrong. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. What's wrong? <laughs> right. Uh, so, for example, are newspapers in America going to survive? Hell no. <laughs> no way. Okay. Now, what I mean by that is not that the New York Times is going to go out of business tomorrow or maybe even in 12 months, as Michael Wolf said on an earlier uh, panel, but uh, the fundamental structure as it exists of newspapers in America is not workable. Uh, I believe, I have my s slides back in the hotel, so I'm now pre-digital, these are my notes. Um, it's rather ironic, but uh, I believe in about 1933, uh, newspapers had 50% of the advertising revenue uh, in the country, in America. Uh, then it's kept slipping and kept slipping, and then the internet comes and it jumps off a cliff. Last year it was 15% of all ad revenue, Next year, it's going to be 10% of all ad revenue. It shouldn't be anywhere near 10%. As they would say here in Britain, that's mental. Um, <laughs> who, who reads the newspapers? I mean, here in Britain, you might, and I'm not just saying that to be polite to the host. I picked up a couple of papers while I was here, and it was interesting. You know, uh, you had a story of a woman who got uh, arrested for kissing a man in public just on the cheek in Dubai, right? or United Arab Emirates somewhere. I said, okay, well that's an interesting story. I kind of want, and she looked kind of good. And they had a picture. And I said, okay, let me check this out. Uh, in America, they don't even try. I, I mean, have you picked up a US newspaper? It's deathly dull. They, they, they don't think that they have to serve the audience. The audience wants interesting news. Now, that doesn't mean it has to be silly news. We do a lot of really heavy content on the Young Turks. And so, but it does have to be interesting. So, and, and look, they lost the classifieds, which was an enormous source of revenue. They, you know, advertising, who's flipping through the paper and saying, oh, Macy's has got a sale. I mean, maybe a 78-year-old grandma in Miami, but that's about it. Their sh share of the advertising revenue should be minuscule, nowhere near 10 or 15% of uh, the whole pot. And on the other hand, I talked to my nephews, one of them is in college, one of the other one's in high school. What do they watch? All they watch is YouTube. That's all they watch. That's newspapers. I'm not sure they know what newspapers are. Okay, so should the digital, uh, portion of the digital pie for ad revenue be higher? Of course it should. And then will the CPMs get higher, thereby making us stronger? Of course they will. Right now on YouTube, you know, on many p panels they ask, is anybody making m money? Well, I know who's making money, us, okay? Uh, we're one of the top YouTube partners and we share revenue and then we have a subscription uh, model too. So uh, I remember doing these conferences a couple of years ago and everybody's like, God, gee, look, how do we make money? And I kept saying, look, it's a hybrid and they kept debating, is it behind a paid wall, not behind a paid wall? You said, look, you give people, and we've been doing it for years, you give people free content if they want to watch it, you know, a little ad here and there, and they go, okay, the guy gave me a three-hour talk show every day. He gets, you know, shows me a 15-second ad. I can live with it, right? If they want the whole thing, and they want convenience, and they love your show, and they want to support your show, then you say, all right, then subscribe to my website for $10 a month. I'll give you the podcast. I'll give you a special members-only post game, which, because we're mental, we do another half an hour. So if you take out the commercials, we're giving them a gigantic amount of content. So as little as you want, as much as you want, and you know, if you want a little, we charge you a little. If you want a lot, we charge you a lot. Not, not a lot, ten dollars a month. So there is a way to do this, and we figured it out, and we make money off of it. But think about this: YouTube right now, our CPM uh, for those unfamiliar, co cost per thousand. In other words, what we get per thousand views, averages about two and a half dollars. Okay, so for every thousand views, we get two and a half bucks. That's our portion of it. Remember, we're splitting it with YouTube, et cetera, right? So a lot of shows now uh, that have a better sales team and have been doing this for a long time, et cetera, et cetera, can get, do get 
$50 CPMs, okay? So if I get a $50 CPM for what I currently do instead of two and a half dollars, I'm going to destroy the old media, okay? And we're already in the middle of it. Look, look think about cost. I was at a meeting at uh, MSNBC, and the, the, we had done a campaign to get me to host their 10 o'clock uh, time slot. So it was very successful. Our viewers are awesome. We call them the TYT Army. And you know, you were talking about fans that are dedicated, making a big impact. We will never lose an online poll. We can do an online poll against Jesus and we will win, okay? Uh, because our, our listeners are fantastic. And they're not, they're not just our listeners, they are the Young Turks. Like that's what a lot of the old media, they try, they try, it's, but it's not, as they say, it's not in their DNA, right? They're used to presenting, they're used to, I am the authority, you will listen to me and you will believe it. Uh, and especially in America where they're lying, no one believes it anymore. Uh, whereas we say, look, if I get something wrong, you better tell me right away. Email me, send it through Twitter, etc., and I will correct it by the next break. Because I don't have an interest in lying to you. I have an interest in telling you the truth, giving you the best information I can to serve you. So I'm at a, uh, but I got called in. This is successful, and they, I'm going to meet with the president of MSNBC, and I'm waiting. And they've just got this gigantic uh, conference room at NBC at 30 Rock, 30 Rock Bell Plaza. And I thought, my God, they're paying more rent for that conference room, which they never ever used. I'm sorry, at the time, they had a birthday party for an intern where three people attended. Uh, that's what they were using their conference room for. They pay more for that conference room, I am positive, than our entire budget for the year. Okay? How are they going to compete with me? They're not. Okay? We're going to sink them. Now, uh, and we're coming. Now, the question is uh, what parts are going to go? Oh, it isn't? Yeah, try me. <laughs> yeah, take it off. <laughs> now, here's why MSN, and, and, I'm sorry, NBC's content is nowhere near as good as mine. Okay. And, and, and let's figure out how. Okay. So if you're talking about a major media event, they do that better. Of course they do. I, I'm not just some, you know, I'm not, a, I'm trying to give you the truth, right? And you'll correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> So I can't do Lost. You know, Lost is on ABC. It's a giant show. They've got a giant budget, and they do it well, and I watch it every week, right? So I'm not going to compete with that. And American uh, Idol will do fantastic, and there will be mass – I think there will be more mass shows in the future. You so say you've got a lovely niche, and you fill it beautifully. Yes, but it's, but it's bigger than a niche. And so let me tell you the part that NBC is bad at. Uh, the evening news. Hideous. Okay? First – Who's, okay, oh, I gotta get home by 6.30 or 7 o'clock to watch the evening news. No one, no one. My dad used to, and he's like, why would I do that? I already saw it online. I mean, I already read it online, I already saw it online. I'm gonna, why? Because I trust Brian Williams to give me the news? And I like Brian Williams, he's a great guy, we interviewed him on the show, he's funny, etc. It's not about him. Now, how do they like you and why is our product better? Because it's all driven by corporate America. So, for example, Archer Daniel Midland uh, puts uh, several million dollars into a Sunday talk show where they discuss politics, etc., on ABC. It's called This Week. Now, why? They don't sell anything to the public. So what are they advertising? They're not advertising. They're holding that over that program's head. And they're saying, if you dare to do a story on Archer Daniels Midland, you will lose several million dollars. Okay, so you, you better obey. You better bow your head. And don't you dare do a story on that. That's a part of how they control the media. They have on military analysts who, on NBC whose job is to – they work for defense contractors whose job is to sell you war. Barry McCaffrey, former general, supposed to be an expert, comes on, says in the middle of the Iraq war, thank God for the Abrams, bank, uh, Abrams tank and the Bradley fighting vehicle. Now, can you guess what his company produces? The Abrams tank and the Bradley fighting vehicle. Jeff, I'm going to give you 30 more seconds because I want to. I want to put some of your points to the rest of the panel. We haven't got much time. So. I hear. So he's come a long way. He's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the more they lie to their audience, the more they don't give them the actual truth. The one they, the, they whitewash it over with the corporate media, etc. The more when people come to us, they go, "Oh, okay, I get it." The Senator Baucus from Montana is obviously bought by the health insurance companies because they just put $2 million into his campaign. NBC will never tell you that because they want to be polite and it's all about access. They don't want to lose access to Senator Baucus, whereas we don't give a damn about access. We've had all of them on. We've had Harry Reid, uh, Nancy Pelosi.